So you kind of have to let go of what that friendship looked like and embrace what it looks like now if you want to still keep that relationship with the person because it's going to be different. Hi beautiful people, it's Brie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and let's get right into this video. So, does anybody else feel like adult friendships are like... I mean, really weird. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think so. I see this conversation happen a lot. But like, the older we get, friendships change. And it's something that we kind of have to accept. Hear me out. I believe it's really because at after a certain point of our lives, so like we go through high school and college, it's after that when we're either moving back to our home country, we're moving to a different country, we're going abroad, overseas, whatever it is, your location, your status in life, if you're married, you have kids, all of these life changes that happen changes the trajectory of your friendship. It's true, it's real. I am literally experiencing it right now. What I'm experiencing is the older we get, the more things change in our friendship. And that's based on exactly what we're going through in life. So I can give an example with me. It's I got married. There's some of my friends who are married and some who are not. You know, clearly you can relate a bit more, if not a lot more, to the ones who are married. But then you have some of those married ones who has kids, and then you have me who doesn't have a kid. So then you start to relate a little bit less to that person because then the focus becomes mom, being a mom and a wife versus I was just a wife, so I know what you're going through. So at least you see what I'm saying? It's like a lot of things just start to change within friendships as your life changes. And again, you just kind of have to acknowledge that, right? I mean, this doesn't mean that your entire friendship is going to change in like a bitter way, but you know, you start seeing each other less, so you start relating less, and there's a little something that happens in between. But the thing is, what I've come to accept is that I kind of understand why this is the way it is. It's like, of course, if you are a mother then, right, you're going to want people around you who are also mothers so that you can relate with them, you can have little play dates, you can talk about the things that, you know, that, that are like making you want to curl up in a ball as a mom and like that's just really taxing on the body or that's really challenging this week that happened with the child. You know, those are the things that are now becoming your new conversations and your new normal. So it's actually quite normal for that to happen, you know? Because if you go and tell your other friend who doesn't have a child, yeah, they're listening, yeah, they're, you know, probably giving you a little bit of advice, but it's not really, it's not really going to hit as deeply as a person or the new friend or old friend who has a child. Same with marriage, it's like, there are certain things you'd want to talk about with another married friend because they just get it, you know? They get you, they get it because they are also going through that exact same thing. So, you know, as a friend who would have been single while you're married, they're going out more probably because they have to be seen more, you know, to try and meet their soulmates, right? So, yeah, you still, for example, I still love to go out, so I'm still going out, or maybe not as much because I have my partner and I have a life at home now and you know I'm less out in the scene because I just don't need to be out there if that makes sense. So you kind of have to like accept and understand why the change is happening. Your friendship may not like get sour or anything. I don't think it should get sour but it's more like you there's a little bit of a drift and you start relating less but you still have your little little things that you still can relate on then right? And especially if it's that kind of deep friendship that's been that you've been a friend with that person for like 20 odd years or 
a very, very, very long time, then I don't know, it's like those kind of friendships don't really change. At the end of the day though, I really believe that it all comes back down to communication, which is something I am learning now. So sometimes if you do feel a drift or feel a change, it's best that you talk to the person, you tell them how you're feeling and if it's just you that's seeing it or if they're feeling it as well. So you're kind of trying to figure out how we can like mend the, the drift and like try to create a space where, you know, you don't feel that much like this friendship is probably just not going to work. Because it doesn't have to end like that. Some do because it's necessary and some don't. So that's just something I kind of wanted to share because it's one of my realizations as I'm getting older and I feel like, you know, some people just don't really know this. And it's good to mentally prepare yourself like, okay, this might happen or, oh, okay, this is why this is happening. Because it didn't really hit me at first. Like, I'm just like, but well, why would this happen? You know, like, what happened to this friendship? And it's because we're all just going through different things at different times. And we start to relate more or less with those people based on what they are going through as well. It's quite normal. So something that I <laughs> I am kind of like doing or trying to do more of is, you know, for example, in the content creating space, it can be a bit isolating and lonely because you are literally just here with you and the camera and like a room or wherever you're filming content. And you don't really get out to see much people. So you either want to find new ways to meet people and that is if you join certain groups or you go out to certain exercise classes or go to certain gyms or go to certain coffee shops to um, do some work like these are different ways you can like continue meeting people in your life because at the end of the day like you need community and you need friends to just make it through life like you need that kind of bond and community like if your friends like myself a lot of my friends don't live here so I barely have any friends here and I just feel like I need more of that. So I'm just gonna start going to different workout classes, hopefully meeting new people, just kind of connecting with more people on social media who's already on my page or in my space. Maybe people who are doing the same things as me. So these are just a few things that I'm sharing in hopes to help you if you're in this space to, to find new adult friends because it can be hard and weird to meet friends as an adult, you know? And it's necessary, as I said, to have a community of like women around you, either women who you inspire to be or aspire to be like, or who is motivating or inspiring you to get to that next level, whatever that looks like, whether in fitness, with your health, with your career, whatever it is. I'm telling you this, but I'm telling myself as I'm speaking, like don't be afraid to go out and make new friends too. Like nothing is wrong with that because as you get older, Everyone scatters all over the place. They have one friend here, one friend here, one friend there, one friend going through this, one friend going through that, one friend going through that. So like everyone's kind of all over the place. And based on where you are in life and what you're going through, the season you're in, you know, you kind of want someone to speak to on a deeper level about that. You can really, really, really relate. So I don't see anything wrong with finding new friends and creating a new group <laughs> or it just could be one person really just one person we can really relate to in a sense you know at one point you used to see a friend all the time but then you have priorities now or you have things focusing on like you're focusing on building a business or you're focusing on your nine to five you're focusing on your partner you're focusing on your home you're focusing on your child or children like there's so much that comes into play that you literally can't even hang out with friends as much as he used to which is also something that breaks the connect that was there so you go from seeing them all the time every week every weekend to it being like hey can we see each other and then six months down the lines when you actually see them it really it really gets like that so that this is the thing that's coming as you get older but not to be afraid of it because you can literally still create friendship after with the same person, with new people, just finding new ways to make it work and also again like accepting what is. 
because that's always the hard part at least for me accepting what is and not trying to go back to what that was so you kind of have to let go of what that friendship looked like and embrace what it looks like now if you want to still keep that relationship with the person because it's going to be different but trust me the love i'm sure is still there you just there's just a change as you grow up it gets a little weird <laughs> but that's just it <laughs> you embrace it accept it so i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're not subscribed and stay tuned for the next one bye